Hey, what's up guys? This is Wasi from flamelinevisualeffects.com and welcome to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. Today we are create a very exciting tutorial, so let's see what we will create today. Ok so let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Go to composition, new composition and let's call it gaming intro. And I am going with full HD 1920 1080p frame rate 30 and duration make it 10 seconds then click on ok. Let's start with adding a background. I am adding an image background. You are free to add your own background. Now select this image and place it in your timeline. Now we are create a text layer, so right click here then new and click on text. For this tutorial I am using Xeon font, you can download this font from link in the description. Now type your text here. Now select one of the characters in your text. In my text I am select G and I am changing its color to deep red. You are free to choose your own color. Wow it's look nice to me. Make sure to align it to the center. Now make this layer 3D. Then click on this arrow icon and then click on animate and select tracking. Now increase the tracking amount like this. And then set a keyframe on tracking amount and then go to around one and a half seconds then tracking amount set it zero now you can see this animation now select these two keyframes and press f9 to make them easy ease now open graph editor and change the graph curve to something like this In case your graph does not look like this, then right click here and select edit speed graph. Now switch back to timeline. Now play this and you can see a nice smooth animation. Now select your text and press P to open position. Then go to beginning of this animation and set a keyframe on position then decrease the Z amount very high your text must go away from the first frame screen and then go to around 20 frame and Z amount set it 0 now you can see this animation now select these two keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them then open graph editor and change the graph curve to something like this switch back to timeline now you can see a nice smooth animation let's add a motion blur effect to this text layer to make it look more natural if you don't see the switch tab here simply press f4 on your keyboard click on the first box to add a motion blur then also click on this big motion blur icon now it's look perfect okay now go to effect and preset window and search for cc pixel poly then select the effect and apply onto our text layer. Then go to effect control panel. And start time set it uh, 1.98. And then force uh, set it 2. Gravity set it 0. 
and spinning set it uh, 19 degree and direction randomness set it 15 and speed randomness set it 90 and grid spacing set it 34 and click on enable depth shot now you can see our text is broken into small pieces and I want to show this effect only in some parts of this text in my text I want to show this effect only in G and R for this we have to do mask on text so select our text layer and then go to toolbar and select paint tool and create a mask you are free to create marks anywhere in your text now we cannot see the text for the next mask so select our text layer and press M and change the marks mode to none ok now create another mask ok now uh, change the max one mode to add ok now select the text layer and press ctrl plus d to duplicate the layer then click on this arrow icon and select effect and press delete on your keyboard and then open mask and change this to max mode to subtract now you can see our text with some broken pieces but here is a problem we have seen a stain for the mask to fix this Select this duplicate text layer and press MM. Change the max 1 expansion to minus 3. And for max 2, do same minus 3. Now you can see there is a no stain. Ok, let's ramp view this. Wow, it's look really awesome. ok now create another text layer so right click here and then new and click on text this time i am using elite danger semi bold font you can download this font from link in the description ok now type your text here and i am changing its color to white you are free to choose any color then select this text layer and put it under the first text and make it smaller increase the space between characters perfect ok now go to effect and preset window and search for 3d basic rotate y cascade then select the script and apply onto this text layer now press U to open keyframes and you can see the text is automatically animated then select the last keyframes and drag it something like this to make this animation faster then select these two keyframes and press F9 to make them easy ease ok now we are create a zoom out effect so right click here then new and click on null object and make this layer 3d then select all the text layer and parent it to null 1 then select the layer and press p to open position then go to beginning of this animation and set a keyframe on position then go to end of this animation 
and increase the Z amount like this now you can see this nice zoom out effect okay now create a new solid layer so right click new and create a new solid layer and let's call it mask and make it black then click on ok then select the max layer and then go to toolbar and select rectangle tool and double click on it then double click on max path then hold down all control and drag it like this and change the max mode to subtract okay let's add light leaks to make this animation more attractive you can download this from link in the description now select and place this in your timeline ok now press S to open scale and adjust the size of it ok now change this 3 layer mode to screen if you don't see the layer mode option then simply press F4 on your keyboard ok now select light leaks 2 and drag it forward near 2 seconds and then select light leaks 3 and drag it near uh, 5 seconds ok let's ramp view this wow it's look really awesome ok let's add uh, background sound you can download all the files from link in the description so please check this out then select sound layer and place it anywhere in your timeline ok now ramp view this and your animation is ready i will see you on next week thanks for watching this tutorial have a nice day